Our environment is pretty strong. Uh, I talked a little bit about it at our last earnings call, which uh, about 40% of our business is long cycle, 60% short cycle. But overall, what we're seeing in the first quarter is actually a pretty strong business environment. Uh, not just in the U.S. where it's been strong for a while, but we're seeing that in a lot of our high growth regions. We've been seeing pretty good rate of growth in uh, Europe. So overall, the business environment that we're seeing in uh, Q1 has been relatively strong and it's been across all our four of our business platforms as well as more or less across all the geographies that we participate in, which is more or less everywhere. Why do you think that is? I mean, why do you think there's a disconnect between what you're seeing and what we're seeing in the economic data, frankly, in Europe and the kind of results we got from FedEx? You know, one of the focal areas for me when I uh, took over as CEO of Honeywell is to drive organic growth. And I think it's a real testament to the kind of innovation we're bringing to our customers that despite what maybe some others are seeing in terms of challenged economic environments, customers see the value in the Honeywell products and offerings that we bring, whether it's a lot of our software solutions, a lot of our products offering, a lot of our services. Customers are interested in buying it, and value still sells in whatever economy that uh, we happen to be exhibiting, and we're kind of seeing that across the board. What about the U.S. specifically? How does the outlook look for 2019 versus the strength you saw in 2018? Yeah, what we had been planning on is a slightly weaker environment in 2019 versus 2018 in the U.S., but overall still relatively strong. And frankly, so far at least, that's actually exceeding our expectations. Whether we look at our aerospace segment, which has been extremely strong, whether we look at our PMT business, which is more oil and gas and chemicals related, also has been doing quite well, as well as our Honeywell Building Technologies business, which is doing really well. So I, I'm actually pretty bullish on the year, at least based on what I'm seeing in Q1. It's been a strong quarter. We've got a couple more weeks to go, but overall, I'm, uh, I'm relatively pleased. And the U.S. has been leading the charge across the uh, globe in terms of our overall business growth. I wanted to also ask about China, because you did warn last quarter that growth would slow a bit in that market. Have you been seeing that? And how much is it related to the trade war with the U.S.? So overall, China has been quite strong so far. I mean, we're kind of seeing high single-digit growth, which is somewhat consistent with what we saw last year, so no kind of a slowdown. You know, I think it's, I think it's uh, probably a little bit unfair to say that, that any kind of a slowdown is tied to what's going on with some of the U.S. trade. You mentioned the aerospace business has been particularly strong for you. Is there any impact on your business of the Boeing set of MAX jet crashes and the, and the grounding of those planes? No, we haven't seen any uh, any impact on our business uh, at all yet so far. We're obviously working very closely with the NTSB as well as Boeing to do what we really need to do, which is to really investigate and find the root cause of the issue. And Honeywell is trying to be helpful in any way we can. And obviously, our you know the most important thing is that our hearts go out to our to the victims as well as really finding the root cause of the issue and, and anything that Honeywell can do to help Boeing, to help the NTSB is, is obviously will do and uh, that's our number one focus. But in terms of business loan, we haven't seen that, at least not yet.